Hi, I'm Mr. Simons, and here we are looking at the economic issue of environmental sustainability. This video is looking at the kind of major environmental issues that Australia faces, and it's a bit of an overview in terms of the kind of issues that Australia wrestles with. This is the basic basics. It's not a lie. We're going to look at an overview of some of Australia's major environmental issues, but in order to be able to discuss this in some detail, you're going to need to supplement this information with what's happening in Australia at the moment in terms of these areas. So the first issue we look at is that of the preservation of natural environments. I like to think about it in this way, which is that if you haven't got an environment, you can't have an economy. If the environment is degraded, think about all the terrible things that will happen. Um, well, okay, there'll be less natural resources for production, reduce quality of life, those are problems. But also when governments try and fix things, it can also result in other economic problems. So for example, when governments try and fix the environment, they could impose higher costs for industries if governments come up with stricter laws to protect the environment. The other thing that could happen is that taxpayers might have to pay more to repair environmental damage. And overall, that if we're looking at higher costs for industries, higher taxes for taxpayers, uh, changes to production, that the overall thing is that, well, this could reduce economic growth. And that think about it, you go back to that idea of the trade-off, right? Between, between economic growth and environmental quality. Now you should go back and check out that first video on environmental sustainability if that's not familiar. Uh, and there's a link right now up in the corner. Just click on that and you'll be able to go and check out that video. The other thing is that of pollution, that pollution waste is a major negative externality for an economy. So when we see externality, it'd be really good that you're like, oh yeah. Okay. I like this quote from Tim Riley in the textbook that he says, every manufacturing or consumption process inevitably creates waste. And waste could be all sorts of things. It's chemical residue or it's garbage or it's plastics or greenhouse gas emissions. And that what happens is that production, the cost of production does not reflect the full social costs in terms of externalities. So the cost of production, so simply the price does not reflect the full social cost and the full social cost being the pollution. This is because full social cost includes the cost of waste removal, fixing the environment, all those sorts of things. So in fact, that if we include all the full social costs, costs sorry, that the good should have a higher price and a lower quantity. Okay. Now that goes back to the externality graphs, the externality drawing. Again, link in the top right, I think there, that would be good to check out if that's a bit unfamiliar. So if we think about it, governments don't want a lot of pollution. It's bad news, negative externality. So how can it reduce them? Well, it could ban production that hurts the environment. It could put in place quotas, local production quotas, not import quotas to restrict production or emissions. It could give subsidies to firms to encourage them to produce um, in an environmentally friendly way. Also, the government could impose taxes and taxes would increase production costs and they would discourage production or consumption in areas that the government would want to stop. Another issue for the Australian economy in terms of the environment is climate change. Please don't come at me on this issue. I'm just looking at it in terms of the economics. We're not touching the politics, okay? So climate change, put it very simply, is where an increase in greenhouse gases, which are associated with production. And that the increase in greenhouse gases mainly being driven by the burning of fossil fuels. And if we think about the burning of fossil fuels, okay, well, big part of that is 
for production. And the other thing is changes in land forest use. So when um, land is cleared, when forests are destroyed, that that destroys the ability of that to help with the environment and also kind of reduces the amount of arable land on offer as well. So if we take these two things together, that when we look at burning of fossil fuels and changes in land use, that we get the impact of climate change and that climate change can have serious consequences for the world economy in terms of those serious consequences. So we need to think about, okay, so we get, we also get the possibility of people that have to get up and leave where they're living because it's no longer uh, uh, inhabitable given climate change. So we could get now, there are a huge number of consequences that you should be familiar with. These are just a couple why, as economists, we care about climate change. The final economic issue for us in terms of the environment, let's rephrase that. The final environmental issue that we're looking at in terms of the economy is this idea of the depletion of natural resources. So the focus here is on uh, Australia's ability to leave sufficient natural resources for future generations. That, that would be a very useful thing. But if we're trying to describe that, what we can talk about is this idea of intergenerational sustainability. So put simply, is that we don't use all the coal, sorry, we don't use all the coal, or the oil, etc. we leave some for future generations because if we use too much of the natural resource stocks now, there's not gonna be enough for future generations to use. And why do we care about that? Okay, that will lead to lower future economic growth rates for them and lower standards of living. All of these negative consequences. One thing you might like to look at is that Dixon and Marnie talk about the optimal rate of resource use, so where economies work out how much they can use of their existing stocks to then be able to leave some for future generations. But the problem with this is that, well, how much do we have left? How can we accurately figure out what our natural resource stocks are? And then how much are future generations even going to need? So in this video, We've looked at a number of current environmental issues for the Australian economy. The kind of things we've looked at are preserving natural environments, pollution, climate change, and the depletion of natural resources. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, I appreciate you taking the time. Please subscribe. Uh, make sure you get the latest videos as they come out to help with your economic knowledge. And please check out the rest of the channel. Thanks for watching.